Hey everyone, Lucid Motors reported fiscal 2023 first quarter results that were a little bit disappointing to investors. The stock was down a little less than 10% following the earnings announcement. So in this video, I'm going to provide an overview of those earnings, discuss what happened, what the market didn't like, and I'm also going to kind of elaborate on what's going on with Lucid stocks. So, so. Let's begin. Revenue increased to 149 million. That was up from 58 million the year prior. So revenue is exploding as the company is ramping up production. The loss per share widened to 43 cents. That was worse than the 36 cents year over year. The loss from operations worsened to 779 million. That was up from 597 million in the same quarter to prior year. So as the company is ramping up production, selling more cards, it's losing more money. It produced 2,314 cars, but it delivered only 1,406 cars in the first quarter. So it's now to the point where production is not the constraint, it's customer demand. It can produce a lot more cars, but customer demand is not there to match up with all of the production capacity the company now has after it spent billions of dollars in creating the manufacturing capacity. So inventories increased to 1 billion. That was up from 834 million in the previous quarter. So Lucid has $1 billion of inventory on hand. It also began testing a luxury SUV with production on track for 2024. Uh, this is going to come at a time when consumer demand for electric vehicles is kind of leveling off and at a time when capacity and supply of electric vehicles is soaring. So it's not just Lucid and Tesla and Rivian and the EV only companies that are ramping up production of electric vehicles, but also Ford, GM, they're also, they're ramping up production of electric vehicles. So competition is heating up and you will have noticed several price cuts by Tesla and others lowering prices because competition is fierce and they're fighting over the waning consumer demand. So. This is uh, a risk here for Lucid as it's ramping up production, getting ready to launch all these new cars, but is there going to be a market for them? Construction continued at its new manufacturing facility in Saudi Arabia. At its peak, this facility can produce 155,000 vehicles per year. That's a lot of luxury cars. Lucid's cars typically sell for around one hundred thousand dollars so you know producing one hundred fifty five thousand of those high-end cars is a lot it should help lucid in terms of expanding its market to uh, regions outside of the u.s right now its facilities and sales are primarily in the u.s so that could be a positive catalyst for lucid it as of the end of the quarter the company had 3.4 billion dollars in cash and about 2 billion in long-term debt the company burned through 1 billion dollars in cash in the most recent quarter so you could put two and two together there it can't continue losing as much cash as it did in the most recent quarter for very much longer it's only got you know three quarters roughly three quarters worth of cash if it continues at this pace although the company has a strong backer in the Saudi Arabia investment fund they've shown a willingness to invest in lucid stock so if the company does need to raise capital it does seem to have a strong financial backer in that regard lucid reiterated its guidance that it will produce at least 10,000 cars in 2023 that was a bit questionable considering the pace it started in 2023 so far. It produced only 2,300 cars and delivered only 1,400. So it needs to ramp up that pace of production just to reach that 10,000. 
but also it needs to ramp up sales otherwise it's just going to produce these cars that are going to be sitting in its uh, garages uh, really because they're not selling as much as they're producing so will it make sense to spend that money producing these cars that are not um, matched with buyers and holding on to inventory when you know cash is certainly a constraint so I don't know if if they will uh, do that or maybe the lower prices to get these cars sold or increase marketing something uh, needs to improve here for lucid for the year to play out the way that they would like it to so um, overall the story here the storyline for lucid in the first quarter was that customer demand is now behind production and that's the constraint that is showing up now that they've got their production ramped up they've got capacity they can make cars but do they have the customers to buy them, right? That's where Lucid's focus should be on for the rest of this year is boosting up customer demand because now they've got supply. The supply is solid. They're, they're good with that. Now they need to bring up customer demand so that they could sell the, the cars that they can produce. All right, so that's all I've got for this, for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.